You know, a long time ago, before I'd been introduced to the Irate Gamer, people kept telling me that he sucked. And when people tell me somebody sucks, I expect them to suck. And while I wouldn't put him on par with many other great video reviews out there, I still found his product to be enjoyable. But people hate him, and I've concluded that because they let their hatred of him dominate their feelings, they end up misleading their own viewers into thinking he's much worse than he actually is. So what if he rips off the angry video game nerd? So what if his jokes are often lame? So what if he's wrong about a tons of facts? So what if he's a mediocre gamer at best? Oh, well I guess those are actually a lot of valid criticisms. Okay, so maybe I myself let my hatred of the hatred of the irate gamer dominate my own feelings. And maybe I mislead people into thinking he's better than he actually is. At times like these, I regret that I didn't think of the review or breakdown earlier. The three essentials are critiquing humor and production values, or the technicals. I prioritize what the reviewer themselves prioritize. Hence, I won't compare the nostalgia critic to the movie preview critic, because they both have different priorities. The credit focuses on humor, the movie preview credit focuses on criticisms, and the irate gamer focuses on the technicals. Hence, that's how I determine what is most important in a reviewer. But whether that is what you want or not is obviously up to you. Hence, I think irate gamer knows his limitations in terms of delivery, so distracts us with the special effects. To me, that is what makes a good reviewer, amplifying your strengths and covering up your weaknesses. However, this does not mean that you're a great reviewer who'd be able to do all of these things. So guys, Calling the irate gamer stupid is just petty, it's not insightful, it's not critical, it's just, well, stupid. Stop it. Be better than that, it's just immature. Besides reviewing older games, he's also created a show where he reviews newer stuff, mainly Nintendo Wii games. This is Irate Gamer Neo, or just IG Neo. Okay, get this, because Irate Gamer Neo is genius. It is the most brilliant thing to ever come out on the web. Take everything I said about playing up your strengths and toning down your weaknesses and completely forget that, because the Irate Gamer says so. He's going to tone down his strengths and exploit his weaknesses. I know it. Isn't that brilliant? Wait. That's not right. Exploit? Weaknesses toned down st what? Holy ass burgers with a side order fries! That's freaking stupid! Well, IG Neo focuses mainly on critiquing. Now, his gaming skills have been the subject of lots of controversy in his retro game reviews, but to be honest, I don't care. If anything, I think it could relate to an average gamer more than an elite one. But you should definitely take that into consideration when deciding if he's for you. Now, to fully explain how he conducts his reviews, let me go into his style of critiquing. His reviews aren't detailed or thorough like Game Dudes are, but they aren't just overviews either. I have to admit, I'm glad because one of the things that even I notice is that he tends to nitpick on small things in his other reviews. But in Neo, he stays on track, focusing only on the main points of what is right and wrong with the game. The result is that he feels more focused, and while we don't end his reviews feeling like we have an intimate knowledge of the game, we get a good enough taste, enough to know whether the game is worth checking out or not. His reviews are also short, ranging around 3 minutes each. Well, that's actually a really good start. I'm impressed. Is this feeling of hope dwelling inside of me? Or is it secretly dread festering and threatening to consume my very soul? Because our next topic is what he is known to suck at the most. Humor. Now a lot of people didn't like when I said in my last review of him that his humor sometimes worked, sometimes didn't. They felt I was being much too generous. But I can't deny that while many of his jokes were misses, I also did laugh sometimes, so maybe, just maybe, he can prove himself here too. What kind of humor does he got? I knew this was a game I just had to play. I mean, Simpson is even my middle name. Well, not really, but it should be, because I'm a huge fan of the show. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was the punchline? That was... Why am I not laughing? That was just... I'm not laughing. Ew. Maybe it needs a drum roll. I mean, Simpson is even my middle name. Well, not really. But it should be. Because I'm a huge fan of the show. Now oh, that still sucks. I have an idea. This. I mean, Simpson is even my middle name. Well, not really. But it should be. Because I'm a huge fan of the show.
works every time. <laughs> He's been like, you little giddy. Sorry. Okay, what other jokes does he have? Wow, talk about multitasking. Maybe I could find a career in evil multitasking. But one thing at a time. I believe I've come across the worst joke I've ever heard since starting this review series. Where did you pull that out of your ass? That was j I. How could I spend my first review defending you? And you pulled that! Okay, I cannot believe that I watched that correctly. Let's show that again and try that cat thing. Wow, talk about multitasking. Maybe I could find a career in evil multitasking. But one thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Even the cute little kitty can't save it. Okay, enough of that fake crying. Uh, what other anal juice of a joke do you have that I have to tear through? Resident Evil 5 also stays true to form, as I still felt the rush of adrenaline while tiptoeing down the long corridors, not knowing when things would pop out at me. Hey guys! Whoa! Okay, that is kind of funny. But the rest of that was stupid. To make matters worse, most of the jokes are superfluous to the criticisms. They aren't funny, and even worse, they're not necessary. Okay, I will say that some of his more recent reviews have toned down the humor. So, it's, he's getting better, it seems. As for the technicals, even detractors acknowledge that when it comes to post-production, Irate Gamer is one of the best out there. The video, audio, and editing are top-notch, and he throws in a few, a uh, keyword being few, special effects, just to spice some things up. But this is my problem with IG Neo. Keeping his post-production skills at a minimum, his weaknesses only seem that much more distracting. But this is a difficult review, because while he is immensely unfunny, the critiquing is actually pretty good. As for his character, Irate Gamer himself, people have called him bland, but to be honest, I only agree in comparison to guys like the nerd or the cinema snob. I'd still say he's more interesting than the average reviewer. But still, his monotone voice that is pretty much always mildly irate tends to get old, but he does make up for it with lots and lots of conviction. So I guess this is a pretty two and a half star rating. His videos look good, the criticisms are good, but the humor is really awkward. Bah! What the hell is that? Okay, this is the abominable criticism. This is when a reviewer does something that is so ridiculous that in itself it is bound to bring the reviewer down. The movie preview critic had this in that he didn't always finish his reviews. So, what does Irate Gamer Neo do wrong? Currently at this time, I only managed to get up to level 3. Wait, what? He doesn't finish the game? I mean, it's one thing to play as far as you can go, but this just looks like you wanted to hurry up and get a review up. How can we know that the game doesn't suck after he stopped playing? Hell, in his Sonic Unleashed review, he praises the first few levels, but after that, the game sucked. Maybe all of these games are like that. I doubt it, but I don't know for sure. I haven't played the games. I shouldn't be thinking about that possibility while watching his reviews. He does this more than once, too, and now I find myself wondering if he's beaten any of these games that he's played. This makes his reviews seem incomplete and makes me suspicious of his qualifications. How can I trust him now? So I'm going to go ahead and give IG Neo a 2 out of 4 stars, only because he doesn't finish the freaking games that he's supposed to be reviewing. Just remember that if you're going to do video reviews, finish the subject that you're supposed to be reviewing, or try to make an effort. Don't just be lazy. I guess I'd say that I'd recommend him to people who like Irate Gamer for his retro reviews. But most likely, if you like those reviews, you already have been watching Irate Gamer Neo, and he wouldn't need to be telling you to go watch him. Otherwise, I would guess I'd say if you're interested in Nintendo Wii games, look at him more as a second opinion. But I have hope that he will get better in the future. To check out his videos, go to www.theirategamer.com slash neo. My name is Marshall Hoare, and my motto is if you're going to have cinematic diarrhea, then at least have the decency to wipe.